more. More is a great process by which you can transfer skills to the next generation of leaders. So in transferring skills, you want that next generation to really be able to pick up on your skill set and do it well, particularly in a university context where you're only there for a few years. So how does more work? M stands for model. So model means you show them what you're doing and they, they're there watching you. But very importantly, they know that they're there watching you because you've been very transparent with the more process. So they know I'm here and you're modeling it to me. And when they've picked up and they've seen your model, then you move to A, which is assist. So assist, you're still there with them. They're not flying solo yet. And you're assisting them as they now perform that skill. When they've grown in competence and you think, okay, we're ready to go to the next stage. They also know they're ready to go to the next stage and hopefully are keen about I'm progressing in my training. Next stage is the W, which is watch. This is where you're still with them, but they are more flying solo in a sense because you're sitting back and you're watching them as they go about this skill and you'll give feedback and things at the end, but you're not gonna jump in and save them all the time. This is, their, they have the, the freedom to fail if you like, because not, you're not building a true leader if you're gonna jump in and rescue them all the time. And failure is something they will then learn from when they make mistakes here, get feedback, and they'll develop into a much more competent leader. Then after they're, they're good with watch, you then progress to L. And this is a very important section. L stands for leave. And this is where you've stepped back from them. They are flying solo now. And you're being a DNA keeper. You're tracking with them, making sure they're still heading in the right direction with the skill, catching up every now and again. And importantly, they've chosen someone who they can maul this skill to. So they can be part of inspiring and generating that, those next leaders. And again, they're being very transparent with what they're doing too. When they're asking someone to come and, and learn this skill with them, that new person knows, okay, now you're modeling it to me, then you're going to assist me, then you're going to watch, and then you're going to leave, and I'll be able to maul it to someone else. So it's a fantastic way to generate that leadership and continue on training people so they're competent.